Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to calculate the orbital speed of a low Earth orbiting satellite. Suppose we have a satellite that's orbiting at 400 kilometers above the Earth's surface. So it's going round and round the Earth in a circular orbit. Clearly, a centripetal force pointing towards the Earth is required and that force is provided by the Earth's gravitational pull on the satellite. We now apply Newton's second law on the satellite. So there's only one force acting on the satellite, therefore the net force is gmm over r square. What we need in the denominator is the center to center masses between the Earth and the satellite, which turns out to be the radius of the circular orbit. On the right hand side, we need the m times the a. The acceleration of the, of the satellite is a centripetal acceleration, so we can write that as v squared over r. What we need at the bottom here is the radius of the circular motion, which turns out to be the same r as this r. Once again, the little mass is irrelevant. We throw the r squared over to the other side, and we get gm equals to rv squared. We now substitute in all the numbers, so the universal constant of gravitation, the mass of the Earth. What we need here is the radius of the circular motion, which is this distance here, so it includes the radius of the Earth plus the altitude. And remember, this is in kilometers, so we got to convert it to meters. Press the calculator and you get the orbital speed, which is almost 8,000 meters per second. We can calculate the amount of time it takes for the satellite to complete one orbit by simply doing distance divided by speed. Remember again that uh, this is in kilometers, so you've got to convert it to meters. Divide by the speed of the satellite, it turns out it only takes about one and a half hours for the satellites to complete one revolution. That's all. Ta-ta!